Today I want to share with you guys a little news regarding Xmonad. Xmonad is a tiling window manager, it's my favorite tiling window manager, and it's what I'm basing DTOS around. And because of that, I follow Xmonad development rather closely. If you go to their website at xmonad.org and you click on what's new, the blog down here, the very first blog is Xmonad and Xmonad-Contrib 0.17.0 are now available. And this blog post was about two weeks ago. And this is the first release of Xmonad and xmonad-contrib in like three years. So it's a huge release for the xmonad project. A lot of work has gone into this in the last three years. Major improvements, major changes, new libraries that you can now uh, import, such as now there's going to be an xmonad prompt org mode. <laughs> so I guess now we can have an xmonad prompt that interacts with org mode in some way, I guess for your to-do information, your notes, your agendas. Looks like there's going to be new modules for status bar stuff. I know now they're going to make it easier to have clickable workspaces and your Xmo bar and things like that. Xmonad.hooks.windowswallowing is a, uh, a feature that was requested by a whole bunch of you guys about a year and a half ago. And actually, it was implemented into Xmonad-Contrib like a week after I made that video about uh, how to do window swallowing in Xmonad using a third-party program. The Xmonad guys actually figured out how to just do that in Xmonad itself like the next week. Now, apparently it wasn't a very big fix, but we haven't had the actual release of Xmonad-Contrib until just a couple of weeks ago. So I've been waiting for like a year and a half to be able to use the window swallowing module. So a lot of work went into the new release. And right now, even though it's two weeks since the official release of 0.17 in Arch Linux, they're still on 0.15, the previous release of Xmonad. I've been waiting for about two weeks, hoping that the new version would come out before I needed to make this video, but I've waited about two weeks. Arch is still on the old version, so I'm, I'm not going to show you guys 0.17 on camera today because I'm not going to, even though I could compile Xmonad 0.17 myself, you know, it's probably going to break my old configs, so I'll have to update my configs, but many of you guys are using my configs. <laughs> it's going to break the configs for you because you guys are probably still going to be using Xmonad, the version from the official Arch repositories. So I'm going to wait on the Arch repositories to actually ship 0.17. 0.17 before moving to it. But the reason I'm making today's video is not to show you guys Xmonad 0.17. It's that the Xmonad developers, they put in a ton of work on this. I mean, they're under active development all the time, helping improve Xmonad. And I know many of you guys use Xmonad. I use Xmonad on a daily basis. And these guys are putting out a call for action. The first thing they're asking for is they're having a logo contest. They want to announce a contest to create a new Xmonad logo to replace the current one. So if you guys have got some serious artistic skills, please submit a logo. And guess what? They're actually offering a prize to the winner. They will pay the winner $100, and that's really cool. And another thing they're doing is they're looking for funding because, you know, it's not easy to keep a project like Xmonad going because Xmonad needs, you know, it needs a lot of work. For one thing, one of the things they're really trying to do is eventually get Wayland support working because Xmonad, of course, was built to work with Xorg. I mean, Xmonad started uh, probably 15 years ago, way before Wayland was even thought about. And Xmonad, the X in the name, is for X11, the Xorg server, right? And they really have never had a, a serious roadmap to get to Wayland until just in the last couple of years. And now they're starting to get started on a new project called Waymonad so that hopefully when Wayland is ready, you know, we can have Xmonad essentially on Wayland. But of course, that's going to require a lot of work and, and they're asking for funding. And this is really why I'm making today's video is they're asking for you guys to help support them. And what they're doing is they have opened up sponsorships over on GitHub and they have a goal of they want 500 sponsors. And right now it looks like they only have about 35 sponsors. And you guys, you can donate whatever you want. You can specify an amount. I mean, I, I, you could donate a dollar a month to them or whatever they have uh, specific tiers here, $7 a month, $14 a month, $25 a month. And if you guys are really generous, $50, $250, or even $1,000 a month. And I have already uh, signed up over on GitHub and I've donated uh, monthly to them. I've went ahead and signed up for a sponsorship. It's only fitting, right? Because I use Xmonad on a daily basis. It's one of the things with free and open source software. I tell you guys, even if it's free as in free of charge, if it's something that you depend on, you know, for work or just 
enjoyment, right? You really should contribute to the open source projects you use on a daily basis. That's why I like giving money to, in this case, Xmonad, uh, other projects that I often donate money to, especially as we get near to the end of the year, you'll see a lot of fundraising drives. And I like to donate to projects like GIMP and Caden Live, OBS, things like that, because these are actually pieces of free and open source software that I depend on to make a living. So if you guys can help out the Xmonad project, whether it be through code, whether it be through sponsorships, donations, those of you that have artistic skills, please help contribute artwork. Those of you that want to enter the logo contest, please do that. And of course, those of you that are Xmonad users, be on the lookout for version 0.17. It should hit your repositories any day now. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. I'm thanking Devin, Gabe, James, Matt, Mitchell, Paul, Scott, Wes, Akami, Alan, Chuck, Commander, Angry, Kurt, Dioka, David, Dylan, Gregory, Heiko, Lee, Max, and Michael, Mike, Nitrix, Urian, Alexander, Peace, Argent, Fedora, Polytech, Raver, Red, Prophet, Steven, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this episode you just watched, it wouldn't have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now, these are all my support supporters over on Patreon because I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. If you like my work and want to help support me, please subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.